Our favorite horror movies often have more going on than just a bunch of monsters preying on ill-fated teenagers. Directors occasionally offer nods to other entries in the genre, sometimes in the form of a fourth wall breaking easter egg. Keep a silver bullet and some holy water handy, because these are some of the best hidden details in horror movies. Sean and George Shaun of the Dead is basically a 99-minute homage to the horror genre. Obviously, the movie's title is a play on George Romero's second big zombie flick, Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> Speaking of which, Shaun chastises Ed for referring to the shuffled and dead as the Z-word. Any zombies out there? Don't say that. What? That. What? That. The dead word. Don't say it. Why not? Because it's ridiculous. Which calls back to the fact that the characters in Romero's movies don't call their antagonists zombies. And when Sean tries to book a date for himself and Liz, his phone book features an Italian food place called Fulci's, a reference to zombie film director Lucio Fulci. The name dropping continues throughout the film. We see Landis Supermarket, a nod to the director of Michael Jackson's thriller video, and Faree Electric, which is named after actor Ken Faree, who plays one of the main characters in Dawn of the Dead. And we can't forget Night of the Living Dead's most iconic line. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Which was referenced by Ed when Sean was talking to his mom, Barbara. We're coming to get you, Barbara! In return, Romero cast Simon Pegg and director Edgar Wright in Land of the Dead. King Kong vs. Sumatran Rat Monkey Peter Jackson will always be remembered for his Tolkien trilogies, but the filmmaker got his start making B-movie horror flicks. He paid homage to his past in his 2005 King Kong remake, which slipped in an awesome reference to his 1992 gore fest Brain Dead, also known as Dead Alive. The animal storage hold on the ship features a crate labeled Sumatran Rat Monkey. Beware the bites. This is supposedly the same strange creature that starts a zombie outbreak in Brain Dead. And in the movie, it's said to come from Skull Island, the same island that gave us King Kong. Teasing the Dark Tower David Drayton, the main character in Stephen King's The Mist, is a commercial poster artist. In the opening scenes of the film, Drayton works on a painting of Roland from Stephen King's Dark Tower series, which was later adapted for a feature film starring Idris Elba. Other horror movie posters can be seen in the background of Drayton's office, including The Thing. And speaking of The Thing, Bad Dog. The 1982 horror flick The Thing focuses on a group of Americans working at an Antarctic research station, where they encounter a shape-shifting parasitic organism that perfectly replicates any life form it absorbs. But if you understand Norwegian, the film's plot is spoiled before it even begins. As the film opens, a couple of Norwegians are trying to kill a dog, which is actually the shape-shifting alien. They shout warnings about the alien in Norwegian. <laughs> Which roughly translates to, That's not a dog, it's some sort of thing! It's imitating a dog, it isn't real, get away you idiots! But the message to Kurt Russell and his cohorts is lost in translation. With great power. Years after Hitchcock set the standard for director cameos, Sam Raimi put his own spin on the tradition. Raimi's old car, a 1973 Oldsmobile Delta 88, appears in the Evil Dead trilogy, Drag Me to Hell, and Darkman, among many others. The car remains Ash Williams' ride of choice in the Ash vs. Evil Dead television series. And who could forget Uncle Ben riding around in the iconic car in Raimi's Spider-Man? With great power comes great responsibility, but with a 1973 Oldsmobile comes great cameos, and not so great repair costs. Raimi vs. Craven Sam Raimi loves dropping references to other movies, so The Evil Dead features an interesting detail. A ripped poster for Wes Craven's The Hills Have Eyes can be seen in the basement of the cabin, right behind the table where Ash and Scotty find the Necronomicon. This refers back to a scene in The Hills Have Eyes, depicting a torn poster of Jaws. And in response, Craven put The Evil Dead on TV during A Nightmare on Elm Street. Lastly, Freddy Krueger's bladed glove can be seen in the tool shed in Evil Dead 2. Raimi may have gotten the last laugh, but we'll let you decide was the better one-liners. This is it, Jennifer. Your big break in TV. Keep your damn filthy bones out of my mouth. Talking Heads in Stuart Gordon's Reanimator, Dan Kane's bedroom features a poster promoting the Talking Heads film Stop Making Sense. You know, the guys who did this.
The Rock reference alludes to the antagonist of the film, Dr. Carl Hill, who gets decapitated by Herbert West, after which Hill's decapitated head and headless body are brought back to life by West's reanimation serum. Somehow, Hill's severed head is still able to control his body. So, that's right, we have a literal talking head in the movie. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know which horror movie Easter eggs are your favorites.